Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Glad you could join us today. We're doing uh, Leave Virginia Alone by Tom Petty. And this is uh, an album that Tom wrote in 1995 for his album Wildflowers. Just a beautiful album. And um, this song didn't make the cut on the original album. And I think, uh, you know, that's pretty normal. You kind of write a bunch of songs and some of them don't, don't make the final cut. Um, and I think the reason was he thought it was too similar to a certain other song. So it was, it was actually sold to Rod Stewart, who had a hit with it in the 90s. Um, but recently, the uh, Wildflowers and All the Rest was released, which includes all the B-sides. And there's some really great stuff on there. Uh, Rick Rubin, the producer, talked about it and just how, you know, Tom was in, in the later years of his life was kind of, you know, dusting... Um, blowing off the dust from these old b-sides so it's a really wonderful song and uh, it's nice to hear tom sing it so i went ahead and um, made a tab for this on the patreon that you can download for the lowest level if you'd like but it's a really great example of a strumming pattern that is is sort of dependable and i'd like to start breaking down the theory of the song before we even get started so before we zoom in on the hands with the actual chords and strumming let's let's talk about how this song works a little bit so we have a G chord, okay? And on the intro, it just goes to a C. Now I'd like to start talking more about music theory when we talk about songs. And this is gonna be a one to four chord progression, G and C. Now the reason we know it's four is because it's the fourth note of a G major scale. So one chord is G, four chords C. All right, now when we, start the verse, we're doing a one chord, then a quick F, actually he plays it up here, which is kind of a nice F add to, and then a C chord. So what is that F? It's actually a flat seven chord, because uh, in the key of G, F is the flat seven scale degree. So it's all about the numbers, really, if you're going to really try to understand what's going on with the guitar. If we play a G major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the seventh note is F sharp. You can see that if you look up a key signature in the key of G major, you'll see an F sharp in there. So to play an F chord, it's not really in the key of G. It doesn't necessarily mean we've left the key of G. It just means that we're playing a chord that's maybe accessed from a different scale. In this case, the minor scale. G minor has an F chord in it. So you could say that when you see a flat seven chord in a major key, it's a little bit of a mixture of major and minor. And then it goes to a C chord. So, G, flat seven to C. Okay, now for the next part, A minor. Ask yourself, what Roman numeral would this be? Well, A is the root note of the chord, and it's the second note of G major. And it's a, so it's a two chord, and it's minor, because two, three, and six is generally minor. Not always, but in this case it is. So we go to A minor, and then to D. Okay, can you, can you figure out what Roman numeral D is? Pause the video if you'd like. Okay, if you've got it, good job. If, if not, no problem. It's the, fi it's the five, because it's one, two, three, four, five. Ah. Now the five chord is major, usually. Okay, so... Two chord, five, two chord. Okay, now for the chorus. C, four chord to G. Four chord, then back to one, then to six. Ah, E minor is a six chord. How do we know that? We can also count, besides counting up to six, we can also count down from eight. Eight, seven, six. So that's the relative minor. And then he quickly goes to uh, A minor, two chord, to, to D, five chord, back to E minor, which is a six chord, and then A major, which throws a curveball because there's nothing that says you can't break the rules. So he's playing a major chord where it, it normally is minor. And that just provides a little tension. A lot of songs have tension of release. Okay. Last thing before we zoom in and learn it is you have the bridge here which is a great example of one, four, five, and six chords. Four, five, one, five, six, five, four. That's all he's doing. Da five to one, then five to 
six, then five to four. Now I could play that with those Roman numerals in any key. That's the power of it. If I said E major, so uh, if I did say the, the the verse in E major, one chord, flat seven to four. See, still works. Two chord is F sharp minor. Five chord is B major. And I don't even need to think about it because I've already done the work beforehand of figuring out all the notes of every scale, which really uh, on the guitar is not as bad as you might think because these scales are movable. So I hope that's of interest to you. I realize that uh, you know some of you want to learn more theory, and so what I'm going to do is start to talk about theory before we zoom in on the hands, and that way more people can learn um, not just the notes and chords, but a little bit of theory as we go. So. With that, remember to subscribe if you like the content, and I really appreciate all your support. Let's jump on in and zoom in. Okay, so the chords are simple, but I'm gonna uh, recommend you play this G with the third, second, and fourth fingers, and not the first. And that's because when we go to the intro, we're gonna keep the pinky on the third fret first string. And for the verse, we're gonna play this F add nine. And it's just a lot easier to keep that pinky there than switch it around. So for the intro, um, it's this, this strumming pattern here. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, that's all it is. Then you go to a C, and you keep the pinky on the third fret first string. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Repeat. That's the intro. Now, if you want to know what I was doing on the demo doing some triads that the piano is playing. That would be 7th fret 3rd string, 8th fret 2nd string, 7th fret 1st string, 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2. Hit it again. D triad, 7, 7, 5. C triad, everything 2 frets down, 5, 5, 3. Okay, so for the verse, we're going to do the same string pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. But now we go to an F add nine. So fourth, fr fourth string, third fret, second fret, first fret, third fret, just like that. And you're going to complete the strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. See? Then a C chord with the third fret on the first string. minor and just a regular one so down down up down up down up D down up down up down up A minor D okay that's the first half the second half is exactly the same but we'll throw in a couple fills if you're a little uh, more adventurous here so da -da -da -da. to the F at 9 to the C now you can do this electric guitar part to uh, to the A minor. Here it is. Three to A minor. D again. Three to O. Uh. Okay. There's the verse. Now for the chorus. Um, again, the string pattern is the same, but the, the chords are C. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. G. Down, up, down, up, down, up. C. E minor. So C to G, C to G, E minor, A minor, 2 and 3 and to D, then back to E minor, to A, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So let's do the whole chorus. Yeah, leave Virginia alone. Back to C. Now there's a second verse and second chorus. After the second chorus, we do the bridge. C, and you go basically C, D, G, D, E minor, D, C. Again, C, D, G, D, E minor, D, C. <laughs> it's kind of funny, it just, and then 
then to D. It just repeats that, that bridge, um, just those chords back and forth. So um, C, D, G, D, E minor, then D to C. That whole thing repeats. C, D to G, then D to E minor, then D to C. Then I'll walk up back to the five chord to D. And then another verse. I did a little solo based on the melody, which is uh, not part of the song necessarily, but a little improvisation I filled in. So I'll get to more about improvisation over songs soon. So um, I think the goal is not only playing the right chords, but also understanding the Roman numerals. So go ahead and rewind the video, and now that you know the chords and the string pattern, check out uh, my, my talk about the Roman numerals and try to see that flat seven to four to two to five. I think that'll be a good uh, addition to your practice and to your learning. So um, there you go. Hopefully that's clear and let me know if there's any questions. Enjoy. All right. Well done, everybody. Definitely a nice song to learn. Go ahead and subscribe and I appreciate your support as always. We'll see you next lesson. Bye.